Earlier this month, investigators uncovered 60 gigabytes of stolen passwords, banking accounts, credit card numbers, email communications, and other sensitive user data. This had all been harvested through 55,000 PCs that had been compromised with malware. Earlier this year, it was determined that an estimated 74,000 PCs and 2,500 companies form part of the Zeus botnet. This particular infection gives organized crime access to all data on your PC, including banking accounts, transactions, and the like. Similarly, an estimated 8 to 12 million PCs form part of the Mariposa botnet. Recently, an independent study determined that cybercrime results in approximately $4.6 billion in lost revenue in New York City alone. So armed with these alarming statistics, how do you protect any device on a network? And equally as important, how do we protect Cisco users and machines from becoming part of these statistics? I'm Gavin Reed. I lead the Computer Security Incident Response Team here at Cisco. I want to take a few minutes to talk about the Cisco Global WSA deployment, which will begin to play an important role in how we respond to these types of threats. Around the middle of last year, senior leadership of the company approached CSIRT to discuss practical implications of its Any Device Anywhere strategy. How could we keep our networks protected from malware, for example, when anyone would be able to walk into a Cisco office, connect any device to the network via wireless? Think about it, anyone with a mobile phone, network, tablet, PC, anything, without the benefit of the normal host security we've traditionally relied on. Hopefully with at least some form of antivirus, but nothing else. Since the Cisco acquisition of Ironport in 2007, our team have been testing and using the Web Security Appliance, or WSA, as part of specialized monitoring engagements. Things like the first global conference, the Cisco General Sales Meeting. Based on the work with these Ironport appliances, we identified them as a best fit for the Any Device strategy. WSA's work by having web traffic transparently redirected to them, and in turn, they make use of the Cisco Ironport sender base reputation scores, inline AV scanning to filter, scan, or block malicious sites. We started with a pilot project in the RTP campus, and in just four months, the WSAs had blocked over one million transactions to these malicious sites. These are sites that have some form of malware, be it a zero day or a known exploit. They attack your system the second you visit the site. And once infected, your computer usually tries to connect to a server on the internet in order to receive further instructions, or the actual Trojan itself. Many of the modes of infection over the internet install a small downloader only. Once the Trojan is installed, connecting outward, it's now considered a bot. In rural areas, there are sheep herders, goat herders. In cyberspace, there are bot herders. Once your system is compromised, it can be used to infect other hosts, to launch attacks against other hosts, or to exfiltrate data, credentials, passwords, and the like from the host PC. Obviously, here at Cisco, we have zero tolerance for this kind of activity. We need to ensure that any device connecting to our network is not getting infected. It's not infecting or attacking other systems or sending out confidential information. It's also important to note that the goal of deploying these WSAs is to block access to malicious sites. The WSAs are not configured to log web traffic other than those blocked hosts. We are not monitoring any web browsing, only logging sites that are dangerous. At Cisco, our global WSA deployment is scheduled to begin this quarter. Internally, there's a dedicated FAC and general information available if you want to learn more. Externally, we will continue with these updates and give you our experiences as we give this protection across our entire network. Thank you very much. Goodbye.